Okay, so hey there, welcome everyone. This is Ice Group. I'm Shambo, and I'm back with another video of dancing the Indian Unity. Well, before I go into today's topic, I have an announcement to make. Well, this is for Extreme Channel. You, you've been trying to talk with us for you know what, like a week long, but you're not replying to our replies. So go ahead, join our Discord server. The links down there in the description, and then talk to us with direct messaging. Okay, I have even replied to your message over here with my Discord ID. Okay, anyone can join our Discord server, and you can post your queries over there, and get and you will get replies with detailed explanation. Okay, now heading on to our today's video. Well, I'm not making a video on checkpoint system today. Because it's going to take some serious time. So I'm going to do a video on the U-turn feature of Dancing Line. The U-turn feature is there in the level the maze of Dancing Line. You must have seen it. And it's this feature is really in high demand. Everyone's asking me, how do I make the U-turn? How do I make the U-turn? Okay, so here it is. So here we are once again going to use triggers. So once again, we're going to use triggers for making this, you know, U-turn feature. Okay, so first we need to understand how our cube movement works. So I've opened the script over here, the cube movement script. So based on the loop count, so based on the loop count, this thing was, this thing happens. The cube changes its rotation only in the y-axis. So once it's to 90. And then again, it's still zero. So for that explanation, I'm going to open up Paint and show it to you. Okay, so here's what happens. Here is what happens. The line goes this way, and the and the rotation is zero. As I click, the rotation becomes 90, and the line goes this way. Now, again, click clicking it, the rotation becomes zero. It goes this way. Now. Again clicking it makes it 90 and it goes right again. But now I want it to happen that it should again become 90. No, not 90. It should become 180 so that it can be go this way. And then again to 90 so that and this is how the line will take a new turn. But how do I make it make this thing change over here? I will need to place a small trigger over here. This trigger will shift the control. To control type 2 I will have two types of control in the script so for that I will need to have a boolean variable over here I will need to make the boolean variable static so that I can access it from a different script so let's do it make it a public okay stat static bool u-turn equal to false okay so now i will add another condition over here if u turn equal to equal to false then these things then this block of code will take place now we, i want a different block of code taking place when u-turn becomes true so let's write if if u-turn equal to equal to true this equal to equal to true is also not required but i'm still writing it because if statement always checks for true values if i would have written only u-turn it would have checked whether u-turn was true or not so let's another thing we will copy this whole thing and make a few changes to it actually let's paste it okay now i will is this is 90 this is fine let's make this 180 okay now let's save it but this is not going to work right now we need a trigger and another script for that trigger so 
we need to create a tr let's we will create a visible trigger this time because we need to test it but in the main game make sure that the trigger is not visible so let's click on this trigger okay so okay so let's copy it let's paste it over here let's render its mesh let's bring it over here yeah. let's scale it up a bit good let's increase it it's going to be our trigger good the name swing shot yeah but we don't want this script to it let's remove this script we will add a new script over here u-turn so let's create a c-sharp script name it u-turn script so we will attach this over here what okay so it's okay it's done we will now open up the u-turn script in visual studio and edit it so let's reload the solution and i should have u-turn over here okay that's it we don't need the start and update method so let's quit let's go on enter trigger void on trigger enter so we have this function ready we will once again check for the tag other the tag equal to equal to player okay then we will execute the command that is you need to know the exact name for this stack you need to have the exact same case for this where it's gone the static boolean and also the file name is important so let's go to u-turn script and let's write cube i already have this cube movement showing up over here so cube movement dot i have only one thing over there as statics so let's write u and we get u-turn over here as suggestion. so we're going to make u-turn over here equal to true so now the u-turn will become true as soon as one enters the trigger you can similarly use another trigger to make u-turn equal to true false let's save it let's get in reality let's see whether this thing works fine or not or we have to then debug it uh, so let's check it let's see. so it's through the trigger and yes we get a u-turn now we can use another trigger to actually make this thing go false so let's make another trigger let's copy this let's paste this let's bring it up over here down a bit over here uh kind of over here okay this is our trigger three so we will need to attach a new script to it let's remove this component let's create a new c sharp script call it u-turn script 2 so clicking on trigger 2 let's attach the use okay compiling okay what okay so it's fine now get the return script let's go to trigger and let's uh man. attach it over here now i've opened up the return script 2 over here in visual studio already so let's clear this methods we will copy this method so you turn script so let's copy this thing let's paste it over here and simply change this from true to false save it let's see what happens next we might have to debug the video it means we might have to debug this thing let's see ah man
so yes, it's working fine. So these triggers are working fine. Hope you like this video and this was in a demand. Yes, this was in demand. I did it very fast. Well, faster than what I used to do before. So, by the way, thanks for watching this video. If you've been in this video for the first time, subscribe to the channel and check out our Dance Learn Unity tutorial playlist. All the videos over there I put according to what we've been teaching you. Well, thanks once again for watching this video. Cheers! And don't forget to join our Discord server. We will have a nice talk over there.